614 now. It is a summer rite of passage here in Northeast Ohio, packing up the car, making the short drive west, and enjoying the Lake Erie shores and islands. But especially later in summer, we've all become accustomed to algae blooms, making portions of the lake unsafe to enjoy. Now, typically the water looks like spilled paint discolored or has green globs floating below the surface. And according to the Ohio EPA, a blue recreational caution sign is posted when an algae bloom has been detected. Our Caroline Sweeney takes a look at the problem and what's being done to try and fix it in this News 5 original. We farm uh, corn, so it means some wheat, um, just about 2,000 acres. Farming is a passion of Perrysburg's Chris Swartz. And so is conservation, trying to protect the state's most crucial natural resource, Lake Erie, from harmful algae blooms. The lake is, is wonderful, and I think people ought to know that farmers are just as distraught when that turns green as anybody in Toledo or Sandusky or Cleveland. Swartz Farm, 12 miles from the lake and the thousands more in the Lake Erie watershed, have a major impact. When it rains, crops are watered. That water, mixed with phosphorus-rich fertilizer, eventually ends up in the lake. You know, our issue is phosphate getting into the water. That's what really drives the algal blooms. Blooms like the one in 2014 contaminating Toledo's drinking water. Lakeside Chautauqua, just 75 miles from Cleveland, so fed up with the issue, they built a community pool so visitors didn't have to get into the lake. Realizing the severity of the situation, in 2019, the state of Ohio created the H2 Ohio Water Initiative, which in part helps develop best farming practices in places like the Maumee River watershed in Northwest Ohio. We understand that they must fertilize their crops. But as a state, we simply have not done a good enough job helping them reduce phosphorus runoff from fertilizer. One of the goals of H2 Ohio, to reduce phosphorus levels in the lake by 40% by 2025. So far, farms in 14 counties representing 1 million acres of land are involved and already producing positive results. First year in an expectation that we will be reducing the phosphorus levels by 10% just in this first year due to the number of acres that are currently enrolled in the program. As for the algae bloom forecast on Lake Erie this summer, experts predict a smaller bloom. And the overall health of the lake is stabilizing after record levels of nutrients in the water. In a general perspective, I don't think it's worse. Um, but in many of the issues, um, sometimes it's stabilized. And we need to push that effort um, of not only the research, but then changes in behavior and, and sometimes changes in policy. And farmers like Chris Schwartz are happy to do their part. People in Cleveland should know that all the farmers in Ohio want to have good water quality. There, there's, no, there's no money in it for anybody to send nutrients down the water stream. Caroline Sweeney, News 5.